bonus footage. Welcome back. So the vehicle has left. And then it was brought back. Well, it left on a tow truck. And it came back on a tow truck. So he's up to tow truck charge number three. Saving the money. They put the eBay special pump in it. Of course it is junk also. And at this point he's getting upset. Because he's got three $90 tow truck drives into it. Does not want to pay for an OEM pump. So at this point, my best suggestion to him was to get me a used pump. I'd rather have a used pump than, you know, keep messing around with these Dollar Tree specials. So that's what he did. Went to the junkyard, got me a used pump. Didn't want to pay for the tow charge for the fourth time to have it towed out of here yet again. So here we are. The car still does not run thought that I'd misdiagnosed it. I didn't think that. The customer did, that's why I had it towed here again. Because it can't be the pump, because it's brand new. I went ahead and checked it out. Indeed, this pump does work. It does, you know, it turns on. It builds about six pounds of fuel pressure, deadheaded. I took this apart once to have a, have a look to, you know, check for internal leaks and the hose that runs from the pump up to the sending unit. Somebody grabbed it with a pair of pliers. It has a hole in it. So it does have an internal leak. Uh, it is a plastic flexible hose, not replaceable uh, in the sense that, you know, you can't, you know, get that hose, that exact hose. So I bought some submersible fuel line, fuel hose, 5 16 and stuck on there just for the sake of testing. And even at that, this pump still does not build pressure, despite fixing the internal leak. So that's why we're at where we're at right now. Get everybody up to speed. Unfortunately for this fella, he has more money into it now than if we just did the original repair because of the tow bills and course I charge each time I have to diagnose a car this is not my fault nor is it my problem but hopefully the use pump he has is good so we'll take this little guy back out Set around the old diaper here. Not pee all over. We'll get our O-ring. Well, we'll check out our. Let me tell you what. Let me set this outside. Oh ah! Oh, this thing has so much black mold growing in it. I really don't like being in here. Probably should add some stage 12 respirator on, but once we get this pump in, I'll show you guys what happened to the uh, the OG. This is the flexible line I'm talking about. Like I say, it looks like on the other one it was grabbed with pliers. It's all chowdered up pretty good. So this one has an O-ring on it. We'll go right down with it. my lid get some screws here in my pocket
All right, the big moment of truth here. latched. The keys are in it. Let me give it the old reach up. Hooray! The old beast runs. Yet again. Used. OEM. Better than the aftermarket. Cheap aftermarket. Let's see, we got everything good under here now. All right, everything's clipped in, clipped on, clipped up. How did this thing go? Something like that. I've got a lot of gobbledygook on it. There, yeehaw. So you can see on the pump that they put in it where this was grabbed with pliers and you know pulled off I mean it, it fits on there super loose you know you can see it moves around I took it off and pressurized it it's got several holes in it and I was kind of hoping in the beginning that that was you know the only problem like I say I ran just a temporary piece of bypass hose on it and it didn't solve the problem uh, this you know Chinese pump you put in there is still no good I guess the moral of the story is sometimes you end up spending more money trying to save money. We're going to get this back to him because apparently he's going to send it back to eBay or wherever it came from. Try to get his money back and all that stuff. But in the end, like I say, it ended up costing a considerable amount more by the time you pay for three tow truck drives. You pay for my diagnostic time, you know, twice, only to find out you still have the original problem. So, oh well, we're gonna keep moving. That's when I suggested to buy a used OEM pump. Because a lot of times that's better than some of the aftermarket stuff. She runs now, baby. All right, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching.